Here's a more specific quote. I guess what you really could say he did denounce this, uh, even by name, I didn't realize this. Uh, quote, this is from WMUR, quote, Jasper, in a Facebook reply to Hines, noted that a handful of the free staters on the list are involved in the separate but related NH exit movement to have the state secede from the United States. Quote, doesn't it concern you that five of these candidates want New Hampshire to withdraw from the United States of America? Quote, the speaker wrote. Quote, I would never consider voting for anyone who doesn't believe in being part of the USA. Unquote. Union leader goes on, or I'm sorry, the uh, WMUR goes on to say, quote, then in a separate post, post, he wrote, quote, WMUR goes on, quote, then in a separate post, he wrote, quote, this post is going to make people mad, and that is just fine with me. There are candidates running for office in Manchester who believe that New Hampshire should secede from the United States of America. If they win, they will be required to take an oath of office to support and defend the constitutions of New Hampshire and the United States, unquote. Uh, picking it up again, uh, Jasper continues, quote, how does any honorable person run for an office knowing they would have to take an oath which they are fundamentally opposed to? More importantly, how does any honorable person vote for a candidate whose ultimate goal is to destroy the Union? Unquote. Well, in answer to that, this is one of the reasons I don't run for office, although I did run in 08. I don't know what I would have done if I had won. I don't think I would have taken that oath. But the um, I think uh, uh, you know in in Ireland what happened was the the, mem the the they were forced to take a loyalty oath in order to join the Dial or Deal or Diet I can't remember how it's pronounced the Irish Parliament for a brief period after the Irish War of Independence they had to take an oath to the king. Uh, you know, if they had not agreed to that, there would have been, uh, the war would have gone on. The Irish War of Independence would have cost maybe 20,000 lives instead of 2,000. It's not the fault of the people who live in New Hampshire or of the people who lived in Ireland at the time that uh, central governments try to ferret out people who don't support central governments. <laughs> but I have to give uh, Jasper uh, a tip of the hat, uh, a little bit of respect for at least n noticing that issue, because uh, I've been thinking about it a long time, this, uh, this loyalty oath that politicians must take. He's astute to have noticed it. What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling. For details, visit freekeen.com.